And Bill Samuels, thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Liz. So, okay, you have vowed to do whatever there is in your power, $250,000 worth if you can, to oust Senate Majority Leader Espada. And he now wants you investigated. He says that the money that you'd like to spend is illegal. What do you say to that? Uh, that's an absolute joke. Here is a man who literally has just padded his payroll with 40 employees in the state Senate, more than Senator Chuck Schumer has. His weekly payroll is 36000 a week, five times uh, what an average state senator has, for instance, Anton Thompson from Buffalo. Uh, I suspect he is using that staff at a million eight annual cost to the taxpayers a year to get reelected. We're going to do everything we can with our resources to oust this boss tweed crook from Albany. Okay, but with all the respect, in terms of his payroll, I mean, that is something that Senator Sampson, as a conference leader, has control over. I mean, you say he's bilking the taxpayers, and that may or may, or may not be. I mean, certainly he's being investigated by Andrew Cuomo for using his Soundview health care network politically. But it, when it comes to the Senate payroll, that's controlled by the Senate leadership. I couldn't agree more with that statement. The Republicans never should have accepted Pedro Espada to be their president and offer him $2 million in, uh, in funds. Uh, and the Democrats should never have taken him back. It was a deal made with the devil. And the fact is that Espada has used his swing vote to put pressure, whether it be on Samson or Skillos. They both did the wrong thing. And it's now time for the voters in the 33rd district to do the right thing and elect this exciting young man, Gustavo uh, Rivera. Okay, well, let's talk about that. The rules regarding a pub uh, political action committee of the sort that you've created, it's called the New Roosevelt Initiative, through which you are right. raising money, which has endorsed Gustavo Rivera. Okay, that's pretty coordinated. It sounds coordinated to me. The rules say that you are not allowed to coordinate with a candidate. That's illegal. Coordination is not okay. Well, we agree with that, and we haven't. Uh, I have not had any detailed discussions ever with Gustavo Rivera. I bumped into him at a couple of events. You endorsed However, him. However, you endorsed him. Oh no, that's that's what you do in uh, an independent expenditure line. That's absolutely legal. And this man from Puerto Rico, who has worked not only for State Senator Gillibrand has taught 11 years political science at universities, is going to be a huge star. And that's what an independent expenditure is. We don't coordinate, but we have the right to go up against Pedro Espada and his 40 paid cronies and say enough is enough, whether we're downstate or upstate, we want a legislature that is honest and not corrupt. Well, interestingly, he also wants an investigation of the Working Families Party, but there was already a lawsuit, and, and the funny thing about it is that Assemblyman Brodsky was the attorney that won this case that said that Party A can, in fact, meddle in Party B's primary, and that came in connection with the Albany District Attorney race for David Soares. But when it comes to a political action committee, I mean, why not say, okay, we'll open our books and let, I don't know, whoever, Andrew Cuomo, I mean, I'm sure Pedro Spada wouldn't think that was fair because Andrew Cuomo's in investigating him, but right. why not let them say, some outside party say, yes, you're right, Bill Samuels, what you are doing is completely above board and legal. We would we'll welcome that. Uh, every single dollar that we have spent has been filed. We're following all the rules. This is an attempt of Pedro Espada to put the good guys on the defensive, when in fact, uh, for every dollar he delivers to his district, he puts two in his pocket. Gustavo Rivera is going to be a, an immediate statewide star that the 33rd district is going to be excited about, and he is going to do more to help that district than Pedro Espada ever dreamed of. And more importantly, he's going to show that the voters are going to put new, young, exciting, honest, full-time state senators okay. Uh, in Albany. But Bill, why are you not holding S Senator Sampson more responsible, for example, for what we saw today? I mean, Pedro Espada basically said, I'm not going to come. I'm not coming to your extraordinary session. Basically holding hostage the entire 
Democratic conference, which requires, as you noted, the leadership to deal with him, and then the next thing you know, he gets what he wants. I mean, why not have the, the say to the Senate leadership, no more, no more of that. We're going to take you on. You don't deserve to be leader if you're going to deal with people this way. I not only agree with that, I've said it before, that if I had been the majority leader, I would have never taken either Montshroud or Spada back. They did now. So it's a what mistake. do you now? It was a major major mistake. Uh, my position hasn't changed. You should never deal with someone like Espada. We should never give him an inch. And it's a mistake. We're, uh, and the Democrats and the Republicans both deserve blame for bowing to the pressure of this guy. So okay. I don't disagree with anything you say. But even if that meant, for example, that the revenue bill that require, is required to pass the final piece of that budget and get the budget done so all these lawmakers can get paid, even if that meant that he would not get the yes vote from, from the spotter that he needed, Samson should not negotiate on that? Let me quote the Buffalo News, something that they said that impressed me five months ago. They asked the following question, what's more important, restarting the upstate withered economy or restoring a sense of ethics to Albany? The answer is, it's a trick question. You cannot restart our economy, whether it be upstate, and I'm an upstate New Yorker, without doing the latter first. So my call would be stop dealing with Espada yesterday because the consequences of bowing into corruption, even if it gets us a little better budget deal, uh, in the long run is a huge uh, mistake. But this, the only way we can deal with it, because I can't deal with either the Republican or the Democratic leadership in Albany, that's why we are independent of that, is to go to the voters in the 33rd and say, we have a new Roosevelt. Just like FDR got elected to the state Senate 100 years ago, you have a young leader here that has tremendous potential. I can't tell you how many people Gustavo Rivera has met with who come away and say he isn't just someone to vote for because you're against Despada. He's just an exciting guy. And that's the message we want to sound uh, across the state. And Espada, with these false, ridiculous charges, is trying to change the debate. Well, next time Gustavo Rivera comes through Albany, we would be glad to have him on the show. I'm sure we'll be speaking to you again before the primary. In the meantime, thanks very much, Bill Samuels, for joining us. Uh, thank you, Liz.